The cathedral is famous for its carvings. One cheeky stonemason is responsible for the most notorious, the Lincoln Imp. He even has his own legend. Once upon a time, there were two imps who loved to make mischief, and they came to Lincoln riding on the wind, and they saw the cathedral, and one of them was a bit braver than the other, and he thought, I'm going to go in there and have some fun. So he came in, and he saw lots of clergy and people saying their prayers, and so he started to knock their hats off and throw books on the floor and tip up the furniture and generally cause chaos. Then he thought, well, this is all very well, but there must be some more fun I can have here. So he went up into the roof and he found this magnificent row of stone carved angels, which this angel choir is called after. And he teased one of the angels and said, we are stuck there in stone, you can't do what I can do, I can fly about all over the place. And suddenly he found that he'd been turned to stone as well and condemned to sit at the top of one of these pillars forevermore. And so there he's been to this very day. And the other imp, who is not brave enough to come into the cathedral, has been waiting outside with the wind ever since. And so when you go out of the cathedral into the minster yard, you find the wind still blowing there to this very day. But the imp has only been an icon for a hundred or so years. Well, it was first made popular by the Lincoln jeweller James Usher, who made brooches and other souvenirs for visitors to take away with them based on the Lincoln Imp. And as a result, the Imp has become a very notable landmark here in the cathedral. And it's one of the most popular questions for visitors to ask, can you show me where the Lincoln Imp is? And those of us who work here quite often find ourselves being accosted by strangers and coming to this part of the cathedral and pointing out exactly where they can find the Imp.